Hi, as part of the Fear Free Sessions, today we're going to discuss about how do we recognize fears in cats? How do we know whether a cat is fearful or um, stressed or anxious? The essence of understanding fear-free in cats is communication. You need to understand how and when your cat is communicating fear, anxiety and stress to you as its pet owner so you can modify your behaviour or the environment accordingly. The four behavioural categories of responses to fear, anxiety and stress are usually referred to the four Fs. Fight Flight, freeze, or fidget. Fight. Cats who are in fight mode may struggle, growl, snap, or bare their teeth. They are attempting to drive away the threat. Flight. Cats who try to run away, put their ears back, tuck the tail in, and lower their body are in flight mode. They wish to escape. Freeze. Cats who are still and may seem unresponsive to the environment are in freeze mode, which is unfortunately often confused with compliance, but is usually actually pure terror or just helplessness. It is not unlike the freeze mode that prey animals uh, get in the wild when they want to stay still in hope that the predator doesn't see them. Very similar. Fidget. Cats who are very energetic can't seem to stop moving and are jumping or meowing excessively are exhibiting the fidget category of the fear, anxiety, stress response. They may display more than one category of signs and gross signs of fear, anxiety and stress include panting, pacing, dilated pupils, attempts to flee and muscle tension. In cats, the visible signs for a stress response generally fall into three categories physiological, body positioning, and vocalization. Physi physiological signs of stress in cats include panting, mouth breathing, where they go very, very unusual in cats, pacing, dilated pupils, increased heart rate. Body positions associated with stress in cats are attempts to flee or hide, body lowered to the ground with limbs and tail tucked underneath the body hands, musculature, and lack of movement. Vocalizations in cats, which are consistent with stress, include growling, crying, and hissing. Not all cats will show all three categories of the stress response. I'll be sharing with you five signs to indicate your cat is relaxed, and also five signs to indicate your cat may be suffering from fear, anxiety, and stress. The five signs to show that your cat is relaxed include normal pupil size, ears forward, the rear of the cat higher or at the same level of the shoulders, tail straight up with an inverted U at the tip or below the top line with a soft curve, the tail will have a gentle back and forth movement, the mouth will be closed. The five signs to show that your cat may be suffering from fear, anxiety and stress include having large round pupils, ears carried out to the side or back against the head, the body is crouched and the, leg is, the legs are tucked under the body. The tail may be curled around the body or underneath um, touching the abdomen. Sometimes they do the whole tail swishing. Tail flicking can also be seen. The mouth is open and the cat may be panting, mouth breathing, hissing, spitting or growling. Learning to read cat body language is both a science and an art. You can learn specific signs, but each must be interpreted within the context of the situation and with the consideration of other body language signs being exhibited and the normal body postures of the breed and individual pet. So you know your pet most. What your cat may exhibit may be different from what other cats may exhibit. So you tend to know what is your cat doing? What is a normal behavior for your cat? Is that the way he stands? Is that the way she sits? Is that the way uh, he reacts to you stroking the back of the neck? I hope this has been helpful.
comment below what are your signs that your cats exhibit when um, he or she is being stressed, anxious or fearful. I look forward to seeing the next uh, live event. This is Amity.